previously we had set out this uh, Cox Ross Rubenstein tree which um, we had taken from Volupta um, and basically we have a function defined as CRR tree and the code uh, that we had for this tree came from uh, Volupta um, so just the basic elements of the tree are constructed uh, consistent with in a manner that's consistent with the Cox Ross Rubenstein approach and uh, there is uh, the initial parameters there is the setting out of the tree there is the estimation of the uh, terminal price for the call and put and then retracing back through the tree or filtering back through the tree once we have these values obtained um, filtering back through so that we obtain a value of for the option okay so that's VBA code and the code of course uh, comes from um, Volupta okay uh, we can see that as we increase the number of steps n here denotes the number of steps as we increase the number of steps the value here for the option which is a call option it's European gets closer to uh, 1045 which is the Black Scholes code we might take a look at that so come here to view and look at the uh, project explorer and module 2 and this is just Black Scholes uh, call option function and we can see that as we increase the number of steps 5000 the value of the Cox Ross Rubenstein function uh, gets closer and closer to um, 104506 so this may take a little while typically I've tried taking this the number of steps up to 10 thousands uh, generally the tree crashes and in part this is because uh, computing power here is quite limited okay so I'll just pause and the value here after about two minutes has converged to well it's got substantially close 1045 um, for the tree value so the Cox Ross Rubenstein tree is 1045 as opposed to 104506 okay uh, now how do we rationalize or intuit what's happening in the tree so what I propose to do is to set out uh, the function so just um, explain the values just to explain the code in terms of what's going on how that fits into the tree how we generate the tree how we estimate the terminal stock prices terminal stock prices terminal option prices and then the actual deduce the value of the European option and American option okay so initially we have to we take the values of uh, we need to estimate from these parameter inputs that we initially uh, start out with we need to obtain values for DT U and D uh, the basis of um, DT here is just basically we're going to start very simply with a five period tree or four steps so we've one step two steps three steps four steps we don't have a fifth step although we do have five periods okay and we're envisaging a situation where the stock price can either go up or can go down and that's consistent with Cox Ross Rubenstein 1979 the stock price can either go up or it can go down and once we go up we go go up again and go down again and U denotes the magnitude of increase so if it was increasing by 10% each period U would be 1.1 and the stock price if it was decreasing each period the it would D would be 0 0.9 so let's have a look at how that might be manually configured in a spreadsheet 
uh, Cox Ross Rubenstein state that state that the value of u so Cox Ross Rubenstein 1979 uh, say that the value of u uh, can be estimated to be the exponential so the volatility taking the e to the power of the volatility times the uh, time step the square root of the time step so for instance we might observe this more directly on page 20 20 um see here 21 yeah that u is e sigma u is equivalent to e sigma square root of t divided by n and d is e negative sigma and then the time period so we're taking the square root of the time period and dividing uh, by n we equivalently could set this out here is the time step so we take the time step if the time step if the maturity was one year and there were four steps if we started initially with four steps one step two steps three steps four then the u could be estimated using the black scholes volatility you could be estimated to be e to the power of 0 0.2 the volatility times the square root of the time step so the time step here is one quarter of a year and likewise d is the same except we take the negative power or we could say d is equal to 1 over u and then p is the risk neutral probability which is equal to let me go back to um Cox Ross Rubenstein and um, we have a value for P which is risk neutral probability might be able to find that later but the value for P is set out as just the e, e to the power of R by the change in the time period by minus d over u minus d so e negative rt minus d over u minus d and that becomes if you like a kind of a discount factor that's used internally in the binomial tree to discount future payoffs on uh, on options and of course we'll see that how that operates in a moment okay so typically we have to start by constructing a tree and I'm going to show how these values are incorporated into the tree and then how we can use these values to choose the option value so our starting point would be perhaps let's say we take a four-step tree and we run the Cox Ross Rubenstein Rubenstein estimation so okay let's just build this from scratch okay so we could copy and paste and we're going to take the simplest example and the example we're going to look at is the value of a European option okay so we'll take these values out for a moment and we'll just see how they're estimated okay so we start off with saying the value of the stock today is 100 the stock price can go up by can increase so the stock price can be um, 100 multiplied by u which we've obtained over here and we can f for that value to dollarize and we can pull that across so if you like if the stock price goes up to u it goes up to 110 if it goes up again it goes up to 122 and it goes all the way up to the fourth time so if it increases 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 we have s use use uh, quadrupled 
if the stock price goes down, it is 100 multiplied by D. Right? And likewise, if it goes down again, it's that 94 multiplied again by D. And if it goes down again, it is equal to 81, 87 multiplied by D. And if it goes down one more time, it's equal to 7408 multiplied by D yet again. And we, so we can say if it goes down, goes to 90.48. If it goes down again, it goes to 81.87. If it goes to S, SD cubed, we're here, and SD4, we are down here. If, if the stock price goes down and then back up, it should uh, reconverge or um, revert back to 100. So, Ninety forty eight multiply multiply by a u and we get one hundred and if we dollarize here and pull across it's equivalent to going down and up 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 right so the value that we have here this one twenty two is the same value that we have here. And that we observe here as well. So the SU squared, this terminal stock price SU squared, is equivalent to what we had here. Okay, so again, if the stock price went down and down again, but then went up, it would be equivalent to taking this value and multiplying by U. And we can F4 that, and we can pull it across. And again, we can see that we have reconverged to 100. So this middle value is back to 100. So it's the same value here, as is here, as is here. So we can see this in the tree. Same value here, as here, as here. Okay. And likewise, when we pull across, if we go all the way down to S U S D the power of 3 and then up, it's equivalent to 7408 multiplied by, multiplied by U. Okay, so we've 8187. Okay, which is this value is the same as this value, so we have this value and this value repeats again. We can take another color, and this 122 SU squared is the same as here. And so we can take another just for visualizing. Okay, so these values, we can see how the tree is working here to uh, some degree. Okay, how the patterns emerge. Okay, when we generate the tree, just to see that in terms of the VBA code. Okay, if we looked at the code, this segment of generating the tree, we obtained here. The parameter values were as set out in the function. Okay, and from those parameter inputs, we generated the time step from the maturity divided by the number of steps. We generated u as being e to the power of sigma by the square root of t, or the square root of the time step, d as being 1 over u, or the same again except the negative power, and the risk neutral probability as being e, uh, e to the power of r by t negative d over u minus t. And this is all consistent with Cox, Ross, Rubenstein, the original um, binomial model set out in the option pricing a simplified approach uh, 1979 okay so we have our initial tree set out 
how in terms of uh, 